Hi, Bill here. Today I'll be reviewing 52 Toys Mega Box Avengers Infinity War Hulk. Here he is here. If it would focus in. There it is there, looking really cool. There it is there, Mega Box. It turns into that cube thing. There it is there. You see, it does that, and just Chinese right in the bottom, or Chinese or Japanese right in the bottom, and Chinese Japanese right in the, there as well, and that's it. Oh, and it comes with a, I don't know if it's David Banner or Bruce Banner, whoever you call him, his son name's Banner, but whether he's David or Bruce, I don't know, but it comes with that figure as well. Okay, so there we go. With some, oh, I got this from eBay seller. This one. That one there. Okay, so that's the eBay seller I got it from. So go to his page, you'll find more of these 52 toys as well as this one uh, products on his uh, eBay page. So you can take a look there. Okay. Now, without further ado, let's get this thing out of its packaging. So, here he is, back in his... Let me just check that. Uh, no, not back. Here he is, out of his packaging. What am I talking about? Here he is, out of his packaging. Okay. Looking really cool. A uh, close up of him. That's him there. Looks very robotic, but I think there was a trans was a not Transformers crossover Hulk and that that turned into a phobia. It looks very robotic, obviously. Um. So, but it looks kind of ro more like a robot Hulk than a actual <laughs> proper one, didn't he? He just because it's obviously it does turn into a cube. So. Yeah, it just does look more robotic and he's got this weird, I think it's lats or traps there, but the traps turn with the with the head. So they do, oh, and that was all out of focus because it's focusing in the background. Yeah, the head, that whole thing turns, which is weird. Instead of the head turning, the whole bit turns. I don't know if it can turn right round, it can only go that far and that far. I don't want to push it in case it breaks but there we go uh, articulation I'll just do just now obviously he's got hundreds of articulation because he does fold up into a cube so his fist can rotate right around that can rotate that can bit there can rotate I don't think that can rotate there's a lot of shoulder bits that can go up and down I'll take that out because it's, it's focusing it in and out instead of this um, but can go up and down like that. He does have a waist rotation. Again, probably for transformation purposes. Now the legs can go out like that. I don't know if you saw that. But I think that's for transformation purposes into cube. Um, I don't think it's meant for... I think there's a ball joint there that can rotate. And go like that. And he's... Obviously, got a ball joint for the foot as well. So there's a little bit of that ankle tiltage going on there. I don't know why this thing doesn't want to stay in focus. Right. See, it's a way out again. Right. So there. Ball joint there. You can do the splits. Like that. Is this thing... Zoomed out. That is zoomed out. Right. There we go. Now, these bits, when you're moving the leg, do tend to go in and out. You just push them back in. They will tend to uh, push themselves out like that when you're moving stuff about. So that's that. He's, oh, he's got opening hands like this. And he does have a separate posable thumb. Like that. 
So, but he doesn't have any finger. He, he does have a trigger finger, although he doesn't have a gun because it's a Hulk. Um, but he does have a weird trigger finger. It's weird that he's got a trigger finger there. But um, there we go. I thought that middle bit there rotated, but it doesn't. Um, he can open his chest, but but that's for transformation purposes. And that's basically it. He does have little shoulder bits that go up like that. Again, it's weird, but these bits there, they just go up slightly. And that's it. Uh, size comparison to someone else. I'll get in a minute. Hold on. Try and straighten them up. Oh, these can extend, but again, it's for transformation purposes. I'm not meant to have them extended when he's in Hulk mode. That one doesn't seem to go in very fully, but this one seems to be more hidden. But anyway, let's get them stood and there and we'll bring in another figure that I've already got it's 52 toys and that is Iron Man so it's him next to Iron Man there he should be taller than Iron Man but he's not which is weird but he should be taller because he's a Hulk he should be way taller he should be like he should be like that I know that's forced perspective, but he should be at least that tall, and he's not. He's that. <laughs> so, weird, but that's the way it is. And I'll put uh, we David Banner in beside him. Right. Oh, David Banner's, or Bruce, or whatever you want to call him, has got some articulation. But there, his head moves right round. It's in a ball joint. And he's, he's just arms move like that. Can move his up, arms up like this, and he can move his legs. His, his leg can't go back, but it can kick forward. He's got no waist rotation, nothing like that. I don't think. No, he doesn't. And that's it. That's basically it. He has for his head can come up a little like this. Again, I've got to take them out because it focuses in in the background. His, his head. I'll need to get myself a decent camera. This phone one's terrible. It just keeps focusing out. Uh, his head does come up slightly. I don't know why, but it can. I think it's because when he transforms, it moves down into there, so you put, push it up slightly and move it around. I think that's really what it's for. But you can... Leave it like that, and you can see he's wearing a kind of suit type thing there. You can see in the light, he's wearing a kind of suit thing. So there we go, that's him. It's a little, it's almost like a Playmobil style figure, that one. But that's that, right, okay. So let's move on to transformation, shall we? Let's get this thing transformed up go right first thing you want to do is push these uh lat traps or whatever you want to call them these bits at the side up like that okay second thing you want to do is prise this open it does open don't worry you're not breaking it and open it like that okay i think what you do is push ahead up like this and push it down, it does go down, and that's that part done, now what you got to do is move the arms out of the road, you're going to get to the arms after, and uh, we're going to do, deal with the legs first, if I can remember how to do them, you push, the, you push that little bit that comes out, the legs, you know how it came out earlier, so you push them out, And you want to rotate that bit round 
Well, first of all, I have to see if I can. I've got this the right way around because it can go both ways. Right, that's the way it's supposed to be. You have it this way because you're going to rotate this little piece on a slider. Uh, it's on a slider round like that. So make sure the slider is on the outside, not the other side, okay? Right, you're going to have it up like that. Get these arms out of the road first. Because you've got to put the legs in first, otherwise this thing will not work. I'll, I'll move the head out of the road just now first anyway. Then what you want to do is... Rotate the... Aye, you want to bring that out. And have it there. Now there's a little hole right in there and there's a tab or one half of a tab they you're going to fit the two halves together and it'll tab in there it's not very good at do, staying in there i've done this before and it's not very good at staying in there now you raise this up you raise this bit up see that bit there you raise it up because it's actually on a sliding joint like that so you're going to slide it, you're going to angle it, so yeah, and you're going to bring it round, and that is going to sit in there at an angle, see what's there, so that's why you angle that bit, you push it up, and it angles, it doesn't stay straight, now, obviously this being a ball joint, you straighten up the, the foot, and it should go into that, one half of that um like that so you see the tab i don't know if you can actually see that again if it would focus the tab is sitting in that recess there or one half of the recess so you want to do the same with the other side so it matches up so it's getting this in the right the right way around it's not easy. Um, you have it around the right way, so you push that forward, you have that up like that, you extend this out, uh, you bend that like that. Actually, that's wrong. You have it like that. And then you rotate. It's not quite right. And I'm dropping it. You have it like that at an angle. And then you rotate the foot round. And it should match up with this. It's supposed to fit in the hole, but... Whether it actually does or not is, it's just trying to get everything angled and correctly in that hole. It does see it doesn't want to stay. It just wants to prise itself apart. It doesn't want to stay in there. Right. So, what do you do next? You're not quite with the arms yet. There's another part you do. You take the little David Banner, Bruce Banner figure, and you've got to fit it in there. Somehow. But that's the annoying bit. It doesn't stay together. There's no way to get it to stay together. So what you do here, you, you raise that up. You raise this up. You push the head back. Until it here a wee click. Right, and that's it. You move that forward like that. You move them like that. And you rotate the head like 
that and that's that that's this is the configuration you want this in you want with the arms down like this and you want that bent over like that that's that's how you want this figure okay that's how you want this figure you want it in that configuration okay it's going to focus in the background but there we go so what you want to do is put that down in there have it there like that push it in there have the head in between the traps or lats whatever you call them bits and just have it like that okay that's how you have it so now you're going to do the arms in a minute well everything's going to move but you're going to do the arms so the arms if i can get them the right way we're going to move up like this move up like this rotate it around And there's a tab there, and there's a slot in there. A tab there, and there's a slot in there that will tab into. It's not easy. I try to get the blooming thing to stay in one bit. It's not easy. I don't know if that's right. I think I'll, I'll have to move that round. That's probably actually the way it's supposed to go. So move that round like that. Actually, I think that's worse. Because the arms won't fit that way. Mm. No, I think it has to go that way. I think it has to go that way. It has to, 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 have, to have the gap. There are certain ways that this thing goes. Oh. Now, see how that's raised up? There. It pushes down. You push it down. Okay. This should all fall into place when I get the arms up. So the arm goes up like that. in there like that and push this bit down so you get the hands showing there you should have another hand there and you just tab these in just tab them in and straighten this up and that's basically how you're going to have this figure you're going to have it sitting like that. Okay. Push them down. Like that. Push them together. And there's one other bit I haven't done yet. These two clips, you've got these bits there. Hold on. Focus again. You've got these are going to fit. You get these protrusions going to fit into these clips there, right? So you get them bits are going to come down and just clip onto that bit like that. A soft. You have the slot soft snap. So that's how you do it. And that's him in his cube mode. There it is. A little bit fiddly. Especially trying to get him in, but that's the way it shows in the instructions. Oh, I forgot to show the instructions and everything. Yeah, the instructions are here. It does show, and that's where you put the hands, because you see them there. See the little, you see the little hand bit sticking out there, and the head facing down, and the legs. So it's basically. 
what it's showing there. Actually, it's, it's that way around. It's showing it, but you can see how it's there like that. It's got a little hand that's showing how it's sticking out like that, and that's that. So that's that's how it's showing the instructions. That's how it is. So there we go. That's him in his um, cube mode or box mode. That's it. Right. I, it does come with a Mega Box catalogue. Now, in it, there's another one that's going to use this mould. There's another character I've got that's got, that uses this mould, but I, there's another one that's coming out that uses this mould. There's probably a few. There's, there's an ape one that probably uses that mould. Or similar mould. There's the ape there. But the one that's coming out that's going to use that mould. I've obviously got that Iron Man. It's a Hulkbuster. And you can see it's the exact same mould as Thanos. Which is Thanos. That's the other one I've got by the way. And you can see the Hulkbuster. Uses the exact same mould. Mould as the Hulk. The other one I hope to get is... Uh, Alien Queen and the Power Loader and Predator eventually. Now, again, I know I, I say I'm going to get this soon and it's a while before I get it. With the Predator, Alien Queen and that, I'll wait till my next wage comes in and then I'll probably get it then. So you're looking at February, some point in February before I get these. So Alien Queen's next. Power loader, I'll get together. Then Predator, I'll see if I can afford to get Predator as well. Is that I'll just have to see the prices of them. Uh, after that, there's the two ninja, there's the four ninja turtles. But again, I'll have to wait for a foot wait after that to come in. Because getting the four could be pretty dear. T two of them are are not cheap, but getting the four of them, if an eBay seller sells the four. Well, first of all, we've got to see if an eBay seller sells the four and I can get the four turtles. If not, it'll be two. It'll be two of two. I'll be getting two and then doing them. And then I'll have to get another two. So I hope to get all four of them eventually. I'd rather get them all four together, but if an eBay seller isn't selling them as all four, I'll have to get them in, in twos. Um, so that'll be coming. Eventually, but you're talking maybe uh, what's it, March or April, April or something like that. I, I will get more of these, and there's another few figures I want that have nothing to do with Avengers or Turtles or Aliens or whatever. Uh, that the 52 toy line does. Oh, and Doctor Wu's bringing out uh, a Tripticon, and it's 52 toys that turns into a cube like this. So I've seen pictures of it, it's on TFW 2005, you can go look there. Uh, just put tip to go on Dr. Wu and you'll see it. So I don't know how they got the license to do that, 52 Toys owns it, but yet the trip to go on turns into a cube. But it also has its other modes too. It's weird, but whatever. I still don't know how they get past the license of it because this is 52 Toys. <laughs> it does that. So how Dr. Wu got hold of it and made a trip to coin out of it, I'm, I'm not 100% sure, but apparently that's coming, so that's that, I'll, I'll quickly transform this, or, or I can just do it on screen, I'll just do it on screen, right, um, I'll just undo it, I don't normally do this, I normally quickly put it back, but there we go, you take, you, you lift these arms up, you take that out, you see what I mean, what I was saying, that's a profile, you have that in, to set that in, okay, so you bring the head, you bring the head forward and snap it in, you bring them down, you bring them down, bring that down, and that's him, okay, you unclip that and close his pecs, you, you can raise that up like that and move that out the road, Oh, raise that up, move it out the road, like that. Okay, you can bring the head up and rotate it around. Oh, I think, no, you don't rotate it around. 
that's where his head is. These legs you bring out like this and bring down. Legs you bring out like that and bring down. You rotate these bits around. You close up the chest and make sure you close it all up. You can rotate that, but it doesn't need rotated. Right, to get this to have it the right way, you, do, you, you rotate it like that with the screw hole at the back, you rotate it that way, and you rotate the side, these bits to the side. Okay, then you rotate that and you push in like that. And of course, you rotate the foot. Do the same with the other side, rotate it around like this. Oh, put that upside down. Rotate, slide that round, rotate this around um, till it's there, S straighten up the foot and push in like that. And that's him, well, hold on, I'll bring them down, bring them down, rotate them around, bring them down and rotate that around. And there he is, back to his Hulk self. And I said, like I said, these bits keep coming out. You just push them back in. And that's him back to his self. Okay. So, that has been uh, 52 Toys, Mega Box, Avengers Infinity War, Hulk. Now, I do have the other one. I'll show you it, which I'm going to review separately. But I, I do have Thanos, the exact same mould. And he's got the gauntlet, but you can see he's just the exact same mould when you do the exact same transformation. But I'll, I'll show it off anyway. Except instead of Bruce Banner or David, the, 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 Infinity, the, the Infinity Gauntlet fits in there. And that's it. Exact same stuff, but I'll do that separately. And I'll show, I will show them off together, him and Thanos, but... Obviously, the other mould, once it comes out, is the Hulk Buster. I'll get the Hulk Buster. It's, it's coming off the same mould as, as these two characters. So, I'll get it whenever it's available. Okay, on eBay. On eBay. Just, because, just in case I'm... Ah, but it's available in some other online store. No, when it's on eBay, the Hulk Buster. 52 toys, I'll get it then. Okay, so that's me. Right, that's been me. Uh, for this one, I'm going to do the Thanos one next. Okay, so look out for it. And I'll see you on that one. Okay, thanks for now. Bye for now.